हरिओम सीरा इन अवर लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन वी हैव सीन द डेफिनेशन एंड ए फ्यू ऑब्जर्वेशन अबाउट द एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन एंड वी डिस्कस द ग्राफ ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लॉगार्थमिक फंक्शन He is 
द साइंटिस्ट हु इंट्रोड्यूस दी लॉगोटेंस कॉन्सेप्ट जॉन नेपियर इज द साइंटिस्ट और इज द मैथमेटिशियन हु इंट्रोड्यूस द लॉगोटेंस नाउ व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ द लॉगोटेंस मींस नाउ टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स हियर आई हैव फाइव पॉवर एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू देन हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स मींस now x i have to take some real number what is that real number to find that what is that real number x we need logarithms we need logarithms now by using logarithmic function how to find the values now what is the relationship between the exponential functions and logarithmic functions now let us see now as i told you that when 5 power x is equal to 2 what is x i am telling now what is x for this value of x the john napier has given the answer is log 2 base 5 means here the number comes to here and here i have a 5 as base the 5 comes here so the value of x is equal to log 2 to the base 5 we have to read it as log 2 to the base 5 so now this is the value of x the value of x is nothing but what log 2 to the base 5. now you may ask what is log 2 to the base 5 for every log of this we have some values like in trigonometry sin 0 degree 0 sin 30 degree 1/2 sin 45 degree 1/2 sin 60 is equal to 3/2 like that how we have the trigonometric values for logarithms also we have values we have log 1 log 2 log 3 log 4 log 5 log 3 for every natural number for every natural number and also i can say that for every positive real numbers why i am saying positive real numbers here 5 power x is equal to 2. 2 so is nothing but what range. What is the range of exponential function positive real number? So x is equal to log 2 to the base 5. Here 2 is nothing but what? It is nothing but must be positive real number. So for every positive real numbers, we have a logarithmic values. Using that, we can find the x is equal to. log 2 to the base 5 so this is the advantage of logarithm means when there is a exponential function if you want to find that exponent value to find that exponent we have a new function is called logarithmic function so from the exponential we are getting the logarithms from the exponential we are getting what logarithms it is just by like logarithmic function is nothing but opposite of exponential function means simply i can say inverse squares for square what is the opposite operation square root for cube what is the opposite operation cube root for addition subtraction for multiplication division like that for exponential function logarithmic function now reverse case also for logarithmic function what we have exponential function so this condition is applicable vice versa means from exponential we can write logarithms from logarithms also we can write as exponential function now let me explain here very clearly for your understanding for example when i have a power x is equal to b a power x is equal to b here a a is the base must be greater than 1 as per the definition of exponential function b b is also must be greater than 0 because it is a positive real numbers a must be greater than 1 b must be greater than greater than 0 now x is equal to log b to the base a this exponential function has converted as logarithmic function this exponential function has converted as 
logarithmic function. Now this logarithmic function, if you have x equal to log b to the base a, it comes as a to the power of x is equal to b. You can get it as what? a to the power of x is equal to b. So from exponential to logarithm, from logarithm to exponential, from exponential to logarithm, from logarithm to exponential. That's why in our previous class, first we had a discussion about exponential function and we have the conditions and graph. So that now we are able to discuss logarithmic function. Without knowing the exponential functions, we can't continue the logarithmic function. This is the relation between exponential and logarithmic functions. Exponential form and logarithmic form. Now here also, as we have in exponential form, two exponential forms we have. One is common exponential function, another one is natural exponential function. What we have? Common exponential function and natural exponential function. For example, 10 power x, 10 power x is equal to something as b. This is what common exponential function. Now this common exponential function when we convert into logarithmic form, what we have here x is equal to log b to the base 10. Now what is the base we have here in logarithms 10? 10 as base. So that this is nothing but called this is nothing but called common logarithmic function. This is nothing but called what? Common logarithmic function. This is common exponential function. This is common logarithmic function. So, wherever the base 10 you have, wherever the base 10 you have, that is nothing but called common logarithmic function. That is nothing but called what? Common logarithmic function. Now, we have natural exponential function. Natural exponential function. What is the e power x? e power x, wherever the base we have e, that is nothing but for natural exponential function. For example, here e power x is equal to again some b you have. Let us convert it. You have x is equal to log b to the base e. Here what is the base you have e? Here what is the base you have 10? Here 10 is called base. Wherever the base 10 you have, that logarithmic function is called common logarithmic function. Wherever the base e you have, means exponential, this is nothing but called natural logarithmic function. This is nothing but called what? Natural logarithmic function. This is called natural logarithmic function and this is called common logarithmic function. We have two types of exponentials. Common exponential, natural exponential. When we have two exponential functions, obviously you have two logarithmic functions also. One is common logarithmic, another one is natural logarithmic functions. This is just general concept about the relation between exponential and logarithmic and what is logarithmic function. Now let me give a clear definition about the logarithmic function and we have a few applications of logarithmic functions and we have a graph also that we discuss now. Now this is the definition of the logarithmic function. What is the definition? Let b greater than 1. Here b is nothing but what? Base. In exponential form also the base you have that greater than 1 and must be positive real number. So, let b greater than 1 be a real number. Greater than 1 means it is always positive real number. Then we say logarithm of a, logarithm of a to base b is x. Means 
if b power x is equal to a means what here you have that symbolic representation means whenever you have an exponential function b power x is equal to a from this x is nothing but called x is nothing but called logarithm of a to base b so x is equal to logarithm of a to base b this is about the definition of logarithmic function here a is nothing but what positive real number here a is nothing but positive real number means here the value of a is always greater than 0 and here the base b is nothing but always greater than 1 these two conditions are very very important for us so exponential value never be negative when exponential value never be negative here a is always must be positive real number means log a base b means log a a value is always greater than 0 means now you can say that logarithmic function is applicable only for positive real numbers it is not applicable for negative real number that you have to remember in your mind so log a to the base b a greater than 0 means a must be positive real number here b is also must be greater than 1 it is also must be positive real number so these two conditions are very very important for us now let us come here right? log b here logarithm of function with base b now for this r plus r plus means what positive real number this is nothing but domain this is nothing but what domain here r is nothing but what it is nothing but range so the domain of logarithmic function is positive real numbers the range of logarithmic function is real number now once you remember your exponential function when you have exponential function for this the domain is positive real numbers and the range is nothing but positive real numbers exponential function the domain is real numbers range is nothing but positive real numbers this is about exponential function now when we make it reverse opposite inverse then automatically the logarithmic function we are having now what is the domain of logarithmic function positive real numbers now what is the range of logarithmic function real numbers so just mutually reverse that is the relation between exponential function and logarithmic function so the domain of exponential function is real numbers the domain of logarithmic function is positive real numbers the range of exponential function is positive real numbers the range of logarithmic function is real numbers and this is nothing but the same definition x such that log x to the base b is equal to y when it happens it happens only when b power y is equal to c when b power y is equal to c so log x to the base b is equal to y log x to the base b is equal to y if b power y is equal to c means what let us say the b power y value in place of x so what we have log b to the power of y base b log b to the power of y base b then automatically you will have the answer y means this is the concept we have log b to the power of y base b here the base is b here also the base is b when these two bases are equal then automatically our answer is y then automatically the answer is y and as i told you we have two types of logarithmic functions one is common logarithmic function another one is natural logarithmic function when we can say common logarithm when we can say natural logarithm when the base is 10 when the base is 10 so we have it as common logarithmic function what we can call it as common logarithmic function when the base is e 
then it is called natural logarithmic function. Natural logarithmic function simply we can write it as ln of x or log x. So while solving a problem from our exercise, whenever you find ln of x or log of x means these two indication gives the meaning it is a natural logarithm. Other than natural logarithm, definitely they will give a base. So wherever the base is given, that base we can consider. If there is no base, means by default you should assume that is natural logarithm. We have to consider it as natural logarithm, means the base we have E. The base what we have E. That is above the definition and the concept domain and radius of the logarithmic functions. Now we see the graph of logarithmic functions. The graph of logarithmic function is also just opposite of exponential function. We have seen the graph of exponential functions. We have seen the graph of exponential functions and we have seen some observation. The same will be reverse to the logarithmic function. If exponential function is positive, logarithmic function is negative. If there it is increasing, here it is decreasing. Like that, the concept will come. Let me explain those concepts also. Here you have the graphs of exponential function, graph of logarithmic function. This is the graph of exponential function, as already we discussed. And this is the graph of logarithmic function. Why we are, I have written both graphs this to compare. In logarithmic function, you can observe here, the graph is always lying between first and second quadrant. First quadrant as well as second quadrant. Why in first and second quadrant? In first and second quadrant, the value of y is positive. Here, x value is plus and plus here minus plus which is which one is positive y is positive what is y here range in exponential function in exponential function the domain is real numbers and our range is positive real means real number means x x is real number so the x we are taking Positive values, zero and also negative values. The all these x values are real numbers. And y is r plus means only positive real. Where we have positive real numbers, these two. So the value of y we have only positive real numbers here. So that this is our graph. And moreover, as we discuss here, all when we move from left right left to right the graph rises the above this is common exponential form graph because the base you have to take now coming to the logarithmic function as i told you exponential function opposing one is nothing but logarithmic function when here the domain we are considering as real numbers here the domain we should consider as positive real number so that the graph we have taken will be positive x value here in first quadrant x value is plus comma plus in fourth quadrant also x value is plus comma plus so here the graph is lie between first and fourth quadrant here the graph lie between first and second quadrant and the answer means what is our answer range range is what real number for logarithms the definition what we have positive real numbers to real numbers the domain is positive real numbers the range is real numbers so domain we are taking only positive values range is nothing but our y y axis is nothing but our range means we have real numbers so first we are taking the natural logarithm this is our graph of natural logarithm this is our natural logarithm so 
the natural logarithmic graph is y is equal to log x to the base 10. The common logarithm y is equal to log x to the base t. This is our this is our common logarithmic graph. And this is the graph of a logarithm whose base value is 2. This is the logarithmic function graph whose base value is nothing but 2. Here the base is 2, here the base is e, here the base is 10. So this is nothing but natural. This is nothing but common. So this is the graph for natural logarithm and this is the graph for common logarithm. As we know that in exponential form, the point 0, 1, the point 0, 1 lies on the graph of exponential function. Here the point 1, 0, the point 1, 0 lies on the graph of logarithmic function. Here 0, 1 point, here 1, 0 point. These are the differences you need to observe. This is the graph of logarithmic function and this is the graph of exponential function. Here we have a few observations related to logarithmic functions. The first one, as we know that we cannot make a meaningful definition of logarithm of non-positive numbers and hence the domain of log function is positive real number. As I told you, logarithmic function not exists for negative real number. It exists only for positive real numbers because the domain of logarithmic function itself it is positive real number. So that there is no question of negative real numbers. That is the first point. And the range of logarithmic function is real numbers that also we know. And during the graph, I explained to you the point 1 comma 0 is always on the graph of logarithmic function. And the fourth point, like in exponential function, when the graph moves from left to right, when we are moving left to right, then automatically the graph rises to the above. The same will continue even in logarithmic function. The logarithmic function is ever increasing. That is, as we move from left to right, the graph rises above. Here also, when we move from left to right, the graph rises above. The graph rises above. That is the point of logarithmic function. Next, the fifth point. For every for x for x very near to 0 means when x is approaches to 0 when x is approaches to 0 very nearer to 0 the value of log x can be made less than than any given real number lesser than the very real number in exponential form when we have taken very large negative value, very large negative value, the exponential function approaches to 0. Here when x is approaches to 0, here when x is very nearer to 0, means x is approaches to 0, log x can be made lesser than any given real number, means smallest logarithm value negative lesser than the any given real number. So, smallest value will come. These are the five points. First point related to the domain. Second one is related to the range. And here the point 1 comma 0 lies on the graph of the logarithmic function. And the fourth one, when we move from left to right, the graph rises the above. And fifth point, when x is approaches to 0, logarithmic function value is very lesser than to any real number, lesser than to any real number. And we have one more important thing that also is. Another important point which we have is the plot of y is equal to e power x means the exponential function. 
and y is equal to ln of x means logarithmic function. When we observe the graph of these two, here e power x means natural, natural exponential function. Here logarithmic ln of x means it is also natural logarithmic function. Both are natural logarithmic function because the base we have e. Whenever we have taken the graphs of the exponential function as well as the logarithmic function, how the graphs will be? Look at the graph. This is the graph we have and this graph is related to the exponential function. This graph is related to the logarithmic function and this is the line we have y is equal to x. Now, when we observe these two graphs, exponential function as well as the logarithmic function, these two are nothing but mirror images. These two are nothing but what? Mirror images based on the line y is equal to x. Through this y is equal to x line, the exponential graph and the logarithmic function graph both are nothing but mirror images to each other. For this, the mirror image is this one. For logarithmic function, the mirror image is nothing but this one. That is the sixth point. So, the two curves are the mirror images of each other reflected in the line y is equal to x. So, through this y is equal to here this y is equal to x we have to consider as mirror. So, when we observe this, its image is this one. When we observe this curve, its image is this one. So that these two are nothing but what? Mirror images to each other. Based on which line? The line y is equal to x. This is about the point number 6. Now we have a few formulae related to logarithms that we discuss. Here we have a few formulae related to logarithms. The first one, y is equal to log x means which is a logarithmic function. The derivative of logarithmic function means y dash is equal to d by dx so of log x that is equal to 1 by x. So what is the derivative of logarithmic function? 1 by x. The derivative of exponential function is itself. As we know that we have seen d by dx of e power x is nothing but what e power x. This is about exponential function. Now, the derivative of logarithmic function is nothing but 1 by x. Next, log b to the base e. Log b to the base e. Here p is the number and a is the base. These two we can split. How can we split? We can split with another common base. So, here I have taken this log b to the base b by log a to the base b. A simple logic what I need to explain is log b to the base a is nothing but we can write as log b by log a. This is the meaning we have. Log b to the base a is equal to log b by log a. Means these two are having other common base. Now a single logarithm we have expressed as the ratio of two different logarithms. So log b by log a. Now, what is the base we have here? We are taking the common base b. So log b to the base a. Wherever it is required, like that we need to write. So log b base a is equal to log b to the base b by log a to base b. Now, whenever you have a product, here p into q. Whenever we have a product, if you apply the logarithm, the product, the product will convert as addition. Multiplication is converting as what? Addition. So, log p into q to base b is equal to log p to base b plus log q to base b. Now, the division, whenever we have a ratio, division, now the division is converting as subtraction log p by q base b is equal to log p base b minus log q base b. Now, whenever you have the exponential form, here logarithm of an exponential form, here p square, which is an exponential form. 
So whenever you have the exponential form, the exponent two comes as the coefficient. Now here, whatever the exponent we have, that is coming as the coefficient. So two into log b to base b. Now similarly, here two we have. Here I have n. So whatever be the exponent that comes as a coefficient. So n into log b base b. Now here the number and the base both are exponential. It is an exponential form and it is also an exponential. Here I have the exponent is m. Here I have the exponent is n. So that my answer is m by n into log b to the base b. Whenever the number and base both are equal. Log b to the base b, then our answer is one. When we have zero, log zero, not defined, does not exist. These are the a few formulae related to the logarithms concept. Now, with this concept, with the concept of exponential function, now with the concept of logarithm function, we are going to solve a few problems in our next class. So. To solve those problems, definitely you should have the idea about all these formulae and the concepts of exponential function as well as the logarithmic function. So try to understand the concept and learn all these formulae so that we can solve our problems very easily. Hari Om, thank you.